Hello friends, Annette here again with a card making video this time. And I just love all the possibilities that you can do with a stencil. Blending, dry embossing, applying some kind of medium through it, or use it as a guide to draw something nice and color it with watercolor or markers. So many uses. Today I am creating with the Daisy Wreath layering stencil set as my main element. And I use diamond plaid for one of my cards and the layering sunburst for the other. The sunburst stencil set has three layers and the daisy wreath has five layers and a die to cut the image. Using the stencils is really easy. There are little notches, marks in the corners to align the paper to the stencil one after the other. This is the exact size of a four and a quarter and five and a half card. There are also numbers in the stencils next to the corner marks. These show you the best order of the stencils, but it is only a recommendation, so you can change the order or leave one out. It is really up to you. I use a Nina Solo white card base and secure it to my stencil. I start with the leaves and the mint ink. You can make a light blend or use more saturated colors. For darker, more saturated effect, you can dab the color through the stencil a bit. This is a real time speed. I just wanted to see you how it looks when I do it in real time, but uh, later I will speed it up because it would be too long to see everything in real time. I decided to add some blue slumber to the mint with a small brush so it gets some variation inside the leaves too. I applied the blue mainly on the bottoms of the leaves. I just love this two-tone effect but it is beautiful without as well. This is again some real-time blending to see my process and the details. And the big reveal every time is so exciting and oh, so beautiful. Cleaning the stencils is really easy. Just wipe it with a dry cloth or some wet baby wipes. And when the ink leaves some stain, like yellow and red most of the time they do, just use some stamp cleaner and it will remove every excess. The next layer is the flowers. I align the stencil with the help of the marks. If you are unsure, you can always check the design on the back of the packaging. For the flowers, I use soft lilac and for the flower buds and the, the inside of the flowers, I use lavender. I want to achieve some color variation inside of big flowers too. Wow, I love how it looks, so soft and pretty. Now for the next layer I want to apply some Versamark to emboss it with cold embossing powder. That is why I use my powder tool on it. I use a small blending brush to apply the embossing ink, but you can also use an embossing pan if you want. The result is beautiful. Now to the inside of the flowers. Here I use some yellow as I embossed with gold and I need some more shiny color on the card. On the last layer I do something different again. I am using the stencil as a guide for drawing on the almost finished image. I use a glittery green blue gel pen. This was my first attempt of uh, drawing through the stencil so I checked several times if it is looking like I imagined before. You never know if your idea will work unless you try it. I love the intricate lines inside the leaves. It is even more detailed this way. Then I went back to the flower layer and added some more saturation to the uh, flowers because I think it was too faded in my opinion. I cut the daisy wreath with the dye. If you align the layers carefully using the notches, then it should be perfect fit. Do you see that beautiful blended sunburst background? Well, this is what I made for the background for this daisy wreath, but I changed my mind and I didn't use it. I will use it on another card. I used the layered sunburst stencil set with all of its three layers for dry embossing. I tape them together and then to the paper and I run it through my spellbinders machine. The layering is first the big base plate and then the embossing foam sheet and then comes the stencil with the paper facing up and then the embossing plate on the top. The result 
is simply stunning. I love this technique so much. Amazing details. But I went further with creating even more texture on the background and I used my sewing machine with some embroidery stitches. I even made some little bows with the hanging thread. It is really lovely. I raised the wreath with foam tape for more dimension. Then came the next idea with the vellum. I cut vellum circle for the inside of the wreath and I embossed a lovely sentiment with gold on it. I was looking for the right one that fits inside the wreath and finally I used a lovely sentiment from the Just a Little Lovely stamp set. Some glossy accents inside the flowers and some jewels as finishing touch and I called my card ready. I made a pair to this card with different colors and a beautiful rainbow ink blended background using the diamond plaid layering stencil. I cut the wreath in half to create different design and I embossed the detail layer inside the flowers with clear, clear embossing powder. I love the colorful background together with the old blue flowers. I really hope you enjoyed my video and try this fun technique with all the layering stencils. All your supplies you can find under my video. Click on the bell button if you don't want to miss any of the next video tutorials. Thank you for your love and support. See you next time. Bye bye.